Purdue, along with six other highly ranked universities. This from the woman who I spent five days a week with for six years. And this is how she responds to one of my greatest accomplishments. Now, if I were more like my mother, I'd retort, are you stupid or something? <laughs> but I didn't. I remained humble and explained the application process. She wrote me off immediately, forming the notion that I had been admitted by the blessing of a native heritage. Yeah, I know, I don't look it. In a poverty-ridden past and present. This was the setting for months to come. I don't even know why I expected people to react more positively. Throughout high school, I heard all the boys and girls whose parents could afford to buy them sports cars for their sweet 16s declare that scholarships were only for the poor and the minorities. I grew bitter, declaring over social media that if it isn't fair for a poor student to receive a scholarship, that it isn't fair for those who have money to have toys as children. <laughs> Growing up, I didn't have a concept of what being poor was, and I definitely didn't think I was poor. Oklahoma continually rates as one of the poorest states in the nation, so when everything around you is poor, you just don't seem to notice it as much. It wasn't until my high school years that I became a bear to my house. Now, I use the term house loosely. I live in a trailer. Oh no, not a trailer park. I don't live in a trailer park. My cousins do, but I don't. Just a trailer. The connotation of that word never ceases to follow me. But also, keep in mind that my mother is a perfectionist, so our trailer is lined with faux flower arrangements in every corner, but it's still a trailer. One day in high school, a friend dropped me off. He pulled up to my house and said, this is where you live? I didn't expect that. Safe to say he never came back over. <laughs> Education isn't a priority where I'm from. Now, I'm talking about my state, not my household. My mother is a special education teacher with a master's. In my philosophy class, we are asked to write down our facticity, or facts about ourselves that are beyond our control. I wrote down my family's socioeconomic status and my mother's degree level. I thought my paperback was a huge, you sure, written next to our socioeconomic status with a big circle around my mother's degree level. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure tired of being judged by a dollar value or the color or lack thereof of my skin. So. Nice to meet you. I'm smart or something. <laughs>